Ladies and gentlemen, our next attraction is a singles exhibition match. Please welcome our first competitor. You see, my name is the old timer Jeff King. Shut up, Hank. And I have come here for one reason, and one reason only, and that is to break Max Mangle's spines and collapse lungs with the most devastating move in all of professional wrestling, a move that I have won dozens and dozens of titles with and ended many careers, and that is my vicious bear hog. And tonight I will apply that bear hog and send someone to the hospital. And let's bring to the ring competitor number two. Very exciting between the old timer Jeff King, master of the bear hug, going up against Dasher Hatfield, a two sport athlete combining baseball with professional wrestling. Dasher, quite the hurler on the diamond. Interesting trivia note the first baseball game occurred on June 19, 1846, at Hoboken's Elysian Fields, with the New York Baseball Club beating the Hoboken Knickerbockers 23 to 1. Jeff King in with a wrist twist. Hatfield able to come back on top with a reversal. Now King goes to the ropes to break that hold. Might not be popular, but it's certainly effective professional wrestling. And that's one thing that Jeff King can do is wrestle professionally. He comes in, doesn't have a flashy style, but it's effective. That gravelly voice, the classic Tarzan singlet, Dasher Hatfield ducks around that waist lock, comes up with a wrist twist, going around. 
As King caught up, looks like he's coming down, pulls him into a cover. Wow, can't even call that. That's certainly the uh, Tinkers to Evers to Chance. All right, Jeff King looks like he's asking for what's commonly referred to as a Greco-Roman knuckle lock. Greco-Roman wrestling, classified as such, it does not have any holds below the waist. You cannot grab your legs or anything like that, as opposed to freestyle, where the entire body is an option. They come in, knuckles laced, Hatfield trying to get leverage against the taller King. Oh, Jeff King just pulls him back. Looks like both men angle. No. Hatfield's going down a little bit. King appears to be bowling Dasher Hatfield to the mat. Notice how he steps through and tries to get leverage against the back of the knee, but no, Hatfield bowls his way back up. Jeff King instead oh, spins out, hits him with a little hit to the top of the foot. Beautiful shoulder block off the ropes. Goes for a second one, Hatfield trips him coming over the ring. King falls over the top rope, able to catch his composure. Instead has an arm drag coming back in, Hatfield with another arm drag. Boy, King growling around that ring. He sounds just like that, uh, that latest movie that opened, King Kong, the hit from RKO Studios. Try and go see that at a cinema or bijou near you where you can see the newsreel of this exact match being kinescoped for later viewing. Bulls Hatfield back to the corner. Oh, goes for a clean break, instead hits him with a forearm. Hatfield into the ropes, up and over. Comes out with a reverse roll up. King kicks him out. Ooh, Hatfield almost caught the turnbuckle, able to regain his composure. King comes in. Hatfield mounts the rope, comes on in. Big swing for the fences. Throws King into the buckle. Hatfield going for a late inning rally. Up and over the top. Oh no, he was able to catch himself. Blocks that hold. Introduces King's head to the turnbuckle. King drops down. Now Hatfield coming over the top rope. Oh, innovative. Catches him in a cradle. Only a two count. Oh, King cuts him off with a little jaw jacker. Oh, a crossbody, a crossbody by the old timer Jeff King. That's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I've ever seen Jeff King leave his feet. I've been watching this man for some time now. I do not believe I've ever seen the soles of his boots. That beautiful maneuver, not enough to put Hatfield away. King attempting to change his attitude with every blow. Pulls the man up, now he First body blocks him in the corner. Ooh, tries to hit him amidships with a, let's call that a core bump if we should. Snap Mare drops the baseball man to the mat. In for a cover of oh, Jeff King, doesn't even hook a leg. So important to do that in professional wrestling. If you hook one leg, you can disrupt the leverage a person has. Now a diving punch. Asher Hatfield needs to regain his composure and put his game plan together if he expects to go past the grizzled veteran of Jeff King. Headbutt to the midsection, again with the cover, again not hooking the leg. Jeff King perhaps a little overconfident. Those years of experience certainly help you in the ring, but you can't look past anyone. If Dasher Hatfield is stepping through the ropes, that means he's a capable athlete, able to beat anyone on any given night. Jeff King better not be looking past the uh, somewhat uh, frivolous ring gear of one Dasher Hatfield paying homage to his second sport of baseball. Oh, oh vicious blows in the corner, the second. Collapses Hatfield, now picks him up into a, ooh, a pendulum backbreaker. Hatfield wilts to the mat, gra grasping his lower back. Could be looking at some permanent damage here. King appears to be setting him up. We could see that bear hug. Oh, he went in for the bear hug. Dasher Hatfield able to roll out of it. Now gets him with a ringside roll up. Oh! 
Oh, cuts him off again with that jaw jacker that we saw earlier. Jeff King hits the ropes coming through. Attempts a second cross body and hits the ropes. That's the issue you get when you attempt to go outside your comfort zone, and that's certainly what the old timer Jeff King is doing with that cross body. Drops him to the mat. Hatfield appears to be swinging for the fences here. Winds up. Catches him with a bunt. Drops him back to the corner. Jeff King collapsed in the corner. Oh, looks like a big hit. Dasher Hatfield to base one. Second base. Third base. This could be a winner right here. Boom. Slides into home and takes out Jeff King with a low drop kick. Apparently he's safe by the referee's call, but he still has to pin him for a three. Rolls him up in a Mexican press. Jeff King out at two. Wow, both men showing the effects of this match. Dasher Hatfield's been absorbing a lot of punishment. Jeff King used to putting his opponents away, standing on his feet with that uh, that beautiful cross, uh, the beautiful bear hug that he uses. Excuse me. Oh, now Jeff King drops that strap. Dasher Hatfield attempting a high risk maneuver instead. Uh, took one of midships there. Oh, now he's setting him up for that bear hug. You can see him. Look at, look at the glint in his eye. Look at the contortions of his face. He almost looks like he's in a paramaximum of glory. Now, Desher Hatfield blocks the bear hug. King's still struggling for it. This is a modified version of the Greco-Roman knuckle lock we saw earlier. King going for the bear hug. Desher Hatfield rolls through. Oh, picks up King in almost a hangman type maneuver. Spins him up in a whirly bird. Oh, drops him straight to the mat. Oh, only a two count. Dasher Hatfield pulling out the big lumber, swinging for the fences on that one, but not enough. up in a short leg lock. Oh, looks like he's reapplying it. Version of the spinning toe hold. Can't quite tell if he's got it hooked in. He keeps spinning it in for repeated effectiveness. King kicks him into the corner. Desher Hatfield stunned for a second. Oh, caught up in a picture perfect suplex dropped by the master Jeff King. Says that's it, goes in for a cover. You hear the chance of hogwash from the ringsiders. They don't want to see that. Hatfield out at two. Jeff King being a little surprised at the turn of events here. Picks him up, could be going for a second suplex. Oh, beautifully executed. Drops him flat on his back. Dasher Hatfield contorting in pain at that maneuver. Hooks the leg, as we were talking about earlier. Oops, still out of two. Oh, my goodness. I'm as surprised as Jeff King right now. That was a beautiful suplex and a beautiful cover, but not enough to put away the baseball maniac. Shut up one more. Oh, looks like he's going for a third suplex. This could be the hat trick. Oh, switching sports. That's hockey, not baseball. Instead, Dasher Hatfield ducks behind, rolls through, hooks his leg. Dasher Hatfield with a victory over the old-timer Jeff King. That's going to rocket him up in the rankings.